Hey guys, it is the Welcome Mat here today bringing you guys a playthrough video of a board game I recently traded for through the Board Game Geek called Sentinels of the Multiverse. And <clears throat> if you've never heard of this game, it is a cooperative game where set in a uh, fictional uh, universe that was, it's like a comic universe that was created by this game. Uh, so it borrows from themes and characters, ideas of characters, and, and combines a lot of different things together uh, from the DC universe to the Marvel universe, etc. And uh, you're always fighting a villain. There's a bunch of different villains that come in the base set um, with a team of heroes. And uh, the heroes that you choose can be different for, for each game. There's a bunch of heroes to choose from, and you're always playing in different environments as well. Uh, today we're going back to uh, Insula Primalis, which I guess is the Age of the Dinosaurs. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see what that card said, but I'm just going to put it in there just, to, just for the benefit of the doubt. Uh, but I'm going to be doing a playthrough today. I've uh, used a uh, generator that you can get for free. Um, it's a little app that I want to show you guys. If you uh, if you already have Sentinels of the Multiverse, this is th this thing is awesome. So um, let's see if you can see my phone there. Uh, it says Sentinels here. That is not coming in clear. But it has this big question mark on it. But it has Sentinels on it. And if you click on it, uh, it lets you generate new games and then save whether you won or lost those games. Um, it gives you the win rate percentage, and then your heroes, the villain, the environment, and you can. I'm not gonna do this now because I'm saving. I'm gonna save the results of this game, but you can basically choose like using the app what you already have, and so the app knows what characters you can choose from, and you can choose your difficulty setting of from easy to extremely hard, um, and it even has mode for the vengeance mode that comes in. Uh, some of the expansions. So, really cool app, and it's free, so you should check it out. But without further ado, here is the game. Uh, first, we have the villain turn. Today, we are fighting Baron Blade. And basically, the way he works, every villain works differently. He has 40 hit points, and whenever he uh, is able to discard 15 cards into the villain uh, trash pile, he is uh, able to pull the moon into the earth. So, uh, not all villains have a, t a, a, a you know a ticking bomb type mechanic where uh, you're constrained by time. Uh, but Baron Blade is good for that. If you're looking for a game that's not going to last you an ex you know extremely amount of time, uh, most people consider him the easiest villain in the game, at least on his normal side. Uh, you'll notice that villains also have an advanced side. And I should note, this big card uh, came to me in the trade, but um, these are the normal size of the cards you would get. This is, a, I think, a promo version of Baron Blade. That's a more beefed up version. But this is what you normally get. You get the picture of the villain, and then you get uh, um, the instructions for how you should play it. A lot of times you'll defeat a villain, and then he'll come to the other side, and some of his stats will change, and then you have to defeat him on that side as well. So, Baron Blade is an example of that. So, I'm fighting with Absolute Zero, who's kind of like a combination of uh, something like Iron Man with Mr. Freeze, sort of. He depends upon his suit to live. Then we've got Night Mist. I haven't looked at her character's bio, but I'm guessing that she's magical based. And I think she comes from... The expansion that I have, I have one expansion called Infernal Relics, which was now combined with another expansion called Rook City. So I don't know how I'm going to get my hands on Rook City. but. And then we have Legacy, who's kind of like a combination of Captain America and Superman, except he doesn't really like to do most of the fighting himself. He just kind of inspires people, so he very much, um, you know, gets that gets that from those two characters for sure. And, uh, okay, we're just going to jump into the game. Uh, Baron Blade always starts out with the mobile defense platform, which basically protects him from damage until I remove it. 
And at the beginning of the villain turn, and I'll show you guys here, the back of the rule book, which looks like a comic book, if you read through it a little bit, just the way they give you the bio for all the characters and stuff. Rules for this game are super easy. But the game can be complicated when combos start going on. You basically have the villain turn, the hero turn, and the environment turn. It's very simple turn order. It's brilliant. So, villain's going to play a card. <sighs> Devious Disruption. Each player may choose for Baron Blade to destroy any of their equipment and or ongoing cards. Alright, so I don't have any cards yet because I haven't played anything yet. So, he's going to deal each of my guys three damage. Not too terrible, per se. Um, so, here we go. Oh, and I was supposed to uh, actually draw my hero's cards first, so I didn't do that yet. So let's see what I got. Each hero starts with four different cards. Never played with Night Mist before, so I'm not exactly sure how to use her. And I shuffled this deck, but I don't think I shuffled it well enough. Maybe I'm going to give it a quick shuffle, because it doesn't look like it was shuffled well. But while I'm holding it here, I guess I'll tell you guys I have already played this game uh, two times. Yeah, two times. And I've lost to Baron Blade both times, which I was so embarrassed because everyone would, on the videos and such that I've watched, are always like, oh, Baron Blade's so easy. But the first time I played it, I... I don't know, I guess I thought that because he sounds so easy, I should make it a lot harder for myself. I only fought him with two heroes, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he that didn't go well, especially because I was using, like, Legacy and Absolute Zero. And then last time, I used uh, Bunker, and my wife played with Tachyon, and then I also used, uh, who was my other one that I used? Um... Uh, Fanatic, and uh, we did okay. Honestly, though, we only got his HP like down by half. Um, I really struggled to get any combos going with Bunker, so that game didn't go very well. But uh, here we are. So I've got my cards. And you can feel, actually... Uh, they used a thicker card stock with uh, with the expansion. This card is a lot more flimsy compared to these. This thick card. This is a better card stock. Much thicker for uh, for the expansion. For at least that expansion. I don't know if all the expansions are the same. Um, so, just so you know. All right. So, hmm. Nymus seems like a really cool character. I'm interested to play with her. Uh, Alright, well I'm just going to start off by... Uh, 
Let's, let's try to knock out this mobile defense platform as quick as possible. Uh, one shot, he's going to deal it four melee damage. So, um, give it six left. Just do it. Normally, I like to put the HP with the characters and then move them, get rid of them as we go along. But, uh, yeah, so I did minus four, so that gives it six. So, on your turn, you play a card and then you use a power. Uh, right now, I don't have any powers except for Galvanize, which is increased damage dealt by heroes by one. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, see if I can find it. There you go. Damage plus one to my other heroes. And then he is going to draw a card. And that will be the end of the turn. Now it's Nightmare's turn. Uh, Nymus is really good at healing herself. But she damages herself to attack a lot, so I guess you have to balance when you're going to attack and when you're going to damage. I'm just going to go ahead and put this out in front of me for now. This is an equipment that gives me a power. So, do I want to use that or draw two more cards? I think I want to give this a shot, I guess. The spells seem like they're what do damage. So, I supposed to. Re okay, cool. Um, wow, that's crazy. Switch your trash and hero deck. Shuffle your deck. Deal yourself two infernal damage. That's crazy. She is interesting. I'm liking. I'm liking this already. Alright, um, so that was my power. Did I draw a card? Oh, my power was drawing a card. So now I actually still need to draw a card. Mist form. She can stay immune to damage for a while. That's really cool. Alright. Absolute zero. Um, that is really cool. I was saving that for Baron Blade later. I guess I'm... I don't know. Why not? It's early. I'm just going to give him this equipment that beefs up his cold damage um, by one. I don't know if there's... That's just for cold damage, though. So it's going to deal himself one fire damage. Because I can't do anything about that. 
Um, that's his power. And then I need to draw a card. Hopefully I get something that deals some damage because I'm ready to bring the heart. Cool. Alright, so now we move on to the environment turn. River of Lava at the end of the environment turn. Each player may destroy one of their equipment cards. This card deals any hero that destroys an equipment card to fire damage. Oh, this is exhausting. I'm done filming.